a full spoiler review of the blockbuster film Creed 3. Fellas, do we do we want to give that a round of applause? I want to make sure before we do it. I haven't, no. I haven't, seen, I haven't seen it yet. Okay, you were supposed to see it, so get your ass on the cast. Nigga. <laughs> I know. What the fuck you doing on here, nigga? But um, I did see some things like that was animated. Yeah, well, it uh, don't matter, anime. nigga. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Santo. <laughs> I think I've seen some things. Like. I give it, I give it, I give it eight claps, bro. I give it eight claps. Okay. I wouldn't give it a full round of applause. Since we parted ways, Santo, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a seven claps. I'm gonna seven give it claps. seven seven fires. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. I, I can agree. I'm, I'm I'm about right there. I'm about right there with you. I, I think about around so, a, a eight claps, eight eight it's, fires. Yeah, seven claps, but not the clap. What's the no, clap? not 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 the clap. No. What? Yeah, that, was a rock, that was a rock strike. Hey, hey, see, no, no, hold on. You see, you see what he, the Santo did to this nigga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what he did to him? Now he all my plan is working. He done fucked him up, nigga. Yeah, my plan is hey, working. Can, can we talk about how shocked Rocks was just now, though? Like, oh, I was like, I was like, from, from Bobby. Hey, <laughs> you beat so, me to it. So Creed three. What, nigga, on, I'll lick else? the back of Tessa Thompson's neck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she was looking good, son. Yeah, she was looking good, son. She was looking good in, in part three. Shout time. out to Jonathan Majors. Killed the yeah. accent. He had the he had the LA accent cracking. He, he sounded just like an LA nigga. I had the SXXO. I had that's crazy to say XXO. I had the XXO <laughs> after the um after That's the what movie. you did to me with that redo of healing, nigga. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. Go ahead. No, I asked that nigga, I was like, yo, so he sounded like an LA nigga to me. So I had to ask a uh, uh, LA native, like nigga. And he was like, Yeah, that nigga had that accent down. Nigga. Yeah, yeah. He had he had to, to be honest, after further further review, I watched it again with my, my baby. Um, because she she loved it. She gave it a 10 out of 10 tens. <laughs> she she wanted to go see it again. So he we started thinking, <laughs> so he watched it again, right? And he got more of a uh uh, what's my man named Ryan Coogler? Actually, no, Coogler. No. Hey, hey, uh, Coogler North, is that Northern Cali? It, yeah, it's more. It's more Oakland. Okay. He, he but got, they was he hanging got, with that nigga though, because I watched yeah, that. Yeah, that's they, the that's their boys. You know? Yeah. We gonna just jump right into this thing. So Adonis is now a promoter, right, fellas? Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Bobby. What what what? How how would you how would you rate Adonis's promotion skills? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you out of here too, man. Yeah. Hey, so me and Santo <laughs> was the only niggas to watch the movie. Man. <laughs> Look at these niggas, man. These niggas is unprofessional, nigga. Hey, hey, so, man, you, 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 uh, you, you yeah, 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 y'all out, nigga. I can't, we can't be having this happen, nigga. Hey, everybody has to know your what you identify yourself is, what your pronoun is. Your pronoun is NC, nigga. I didn't see it, nigga. <laughs> The non C ass nigga, man. Non C. <laughs> so he's a uh, a boxing promoter now, mm-hmm. and he got his he got his eye on the lightest heavyweight champion I've ever seen in my entire fucking life of watching boxing. Nigga. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on. Who happens to be? Who happens to be from Phoenix, Arizona? Right. Shout that out, shout out, Phoenix? shout him out, man. Because I don't uh, know the nigga's name. That's a uh, Jose Benavidez Jr. Benavidez. Uh, yeah. Yeah. His his brother. His brother. Is uh is uh David Benavidez? He's getting ready to fight for uh for yep. 168 pound uh uh eliminator actually. So yeah. Hey, he was built like uh Javier Benavidez, nigga. That's their little little cousin. <laughs> He's not a heavyweight, bro. Mm-hmm. He was like 140, bro. Yeah, right and you can there. visibly tell that. Like, what y'all doing, man? Yeah. Well, I think. Well, listen. So even though I haven't. Scene. You got to remember, like their heavyweights line up uh, how big they are. Like, like look, you uh, Apollo Creed wasn't that big. Rocky definitely wasn't that big. He, he definitely looked big hey, though. Hey, no, Rocky oh, looked like a looked yeah, like Rocky, a little, Rocky, little nigga, yeah. a little dude named Rocky, Charlie. Nigga. Hey, hey, Rocky looked like wow. he ate uh, uh, metal shards for breakfast. Nigga. You know what I'm <laughs> so, but like, but what I'm saying is that they're not like big dudes, so it makes sense that they would that that kind of lines up with how they. Will portray a heavyweight. The only big dude was Ivan Drago. Hey, Mr. T is like five. Hey, nine. 
Five eight. But, you know what I'm saying? But you didn't know. You don't know that unless you know like that's Miss, like Mr. T five. Like when yeah. I seen it the first time, I didn't know Mr. T was that. Especially as a kid, I didn't know he was that tall. Like five nine to me is a fucking giant. Hey yeah. hey, Rocky Rocky was built like uh, Megan O'Leary, like, nigga from the UFC. Nigga. Hey hey hey, Rocky looked like he injected the mutagen into in all of his pores, nigga. Uh, hey. Jonathan Major's character gets out of jail. They show a backstory where I guess he put him, he put he he defended himself against a group home nigga that used to beat on his ass when he was stayed in group homes, Lil Adonis. Mm -hmm. So his homie came and uh, helped him out and went to went to prison. So he'd been in prison since he was a kid. Came out eighteen years. Yeah, yeah. Hey, came no, out no, real quick. I don't think. I don't think because in the movie they, they said he was going in and out, right? I don't think he did 18 on that gun case. I think that was what started his 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 tours. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then he ended up doing the 18 piece on something separate. Mm -hmm. Because so, you, you don't do an 18 piece like that. So that's what I liked about it. That whole situation was the catalyst to his in and out of jail right. shit. Right. Yeah, like so all of that changed everything. He befriend him and tell him, and dude want a title shot right off the bat. <laughs> he yeah. asked Adonis, hey, give me a title shot, little first fight. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, he was like, all right, man, I can't do that, bro. I just can't do that. He was like, hey, man, I, I, he made him feel a little guilty. And he was like, all right, come, come train, come train this shit. So he come train at the at, at, at his gym. Uh -huh. The champion that he has already, the Benavidez dude. He like going there and spar with him, and dude like not nah. a Wood Harris character was like, nah, man, fuck out of here. What are you doing? Nah, we're not doing that. And he was like, yeah, let him in. So he let him in, and then he ended up having a little attitude, almost fucking uh the Mexican dude up. Fight. He, he ends up getting a fight with the Benavidez digger and starts playing uh fighting dirty in the fight. I like that, man. You ain't <laughs> never seen that. Like a dude that was good good at being dirty. Yeah. I liked that they did that. What you think about that, Santo? I think what he was good at, it wasn't necessarily being dirty, but he was good at recognizing weak spots. Um yeah. foreshadowed with 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 Adonis um when he was fighting oh boy and he tried nigga, he was headbutting head and elbowing. What are you talking about, nigga? <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't see no, I didn't see no headbutts. Nigga, he, he headbutt on any any elbow. Yeah. Oh no, I did see the elbow when he cut it. When he, are oh, you talking about in the fight when they were? No, we talking about the sparring the, match. The sparring yeah. match, he tried to knock his shoulder out of socket. Dre seen it. Okay, Dre did yeah. see it. No, no, no that's but what yeah, I was but, talking about. But but yeah, that's that's dirty. Shoulder. That's dirty fighting. Yeah, but he did the same thing to Adonis and them because Adonis was fucked up and he targeted that nigga weak spots. So I think what he tried to do was create a weak hold spot. Hold up, nigga. Hey, this nigga jumping way ahead to something else. Wait, hold up. No, nah, nah. I'm not. No, I'm nigga, just, weak spot. Nigga, knocking the nigga's arm out of socket is not no fucking, like, that's not a weak spot, nigga. It is. If I hit you, if I hit you with a golf club in your shoulder. Not in boxing. That's dirty no. fighting in boxing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. If you hit somebody in the hey, hey, that's no, that's that's not dirty fighting. Uh, no, hold, no, hold, hold up, that's hold right up, right there. He didn't hit him directly. He came to under and tried to knock his shoulder out like that from the armpit. Hold and up, hold up, nigga. What? Wait, what, nigga? I can't stand having conversations with these niggas, especially you, Bobby. What is you talking about, man? You mean you? So there is a, there is a, there is a trying to kick. Okay, the oblique kick is the oblique kick. It is that a dirty move? Fuck, it's the oblique kick. Yeah. Okay, so oblique kick should, is trying to kick a nigga at the top of his should, knee to send his knee it, backwards. Yeah, it should be illegal. It should. It's a, it's legal only in MMA. No. Hold on, I want to know from this nigga. Is that a dirty move, nigga? What you talking about? Yeah, yeah I feel like I feel like it is. I feel like no. It is. I'll, I'll, Santo? That's kind of crazy. No, like, no. You so talking no, about I, kicking I, a nigga in his knee? Oh, hold on. So I kicking hey, so a nigga at the top of the knee to make his knee buckle the opposite way. Hey, real yeah, quick, like trying to kick his kneecap in. Real quick, so I get what you're saying. Like hitting, like taking, like in boxing, right? In boxing, so, so from here on to like to your waistline is fair game, right? So if a ref so deems it, he will tell you, "Hey, hey, listen, you can't, you can't hit under the under the rib cage." But there's certain refs that will let you get away with that shit. 
You see what I'm saying? So like, it just depends. So I, I mean, for it's the a sake dirty of movie, move, nigga. Fuck out. For, no, for the sake of the for the sake of the movie, yeah, I, I can see that being. I it's a dirty, dirty move, move, but it's a legal move. They said the same shit about Floyd. When nah, because nah, in the movie they said Floyd. they was looking for the ref to find to see it. What you talking about? Yeah, the they, ref they, they, didn't they, see they, it. They the fight in the sparring match. Yeah, but th that's not the same thing he did when he was fighting the nigga in the ring. In the ring, he elbowed him in his in his face. That and, was a real and he move. no, he hit him in the shoulder again. He the did same it twice. Place that he hit him in in the sparring match. Yeah, so twice. That's what, was, that's what I was. That's what I was getting at. In the sparring match, he created a weak spot, and in the match, he targeted that spot. That's what I was saying. Man, you crazy, nigga. Anyway, go, go. Doubling up on the dirty. Yeah, nigga. That's, <laughs> he fucked him up on purpose, nigga, and, and, and tried to fuck his shit up. <laughs> Say the truth, nigga. The elbow was dirty, bro. The elbow was dirty. Ah, uh, this nigga don't want. Okay, <laughs> okay, so the yeah. Elbow was a dirty hey, nigga, they bought. Hey, man. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> this nigga about to piss me off, nigga. <laughs> nigga. Anyway, the nigga did the dirty move, nigga, <laughs> in the fight and fucked him up, and then was elbowing him when I was and won the title. He just won the fucking title. They was like. <laughs> What the fuck happened? Nigga? You know, he He's supposed to go in there. He started, go ahead. He started beating the shit out of um Eddie Eddie Guerrero in um in that time. <laughs> <fight. laughs> hey, no, real talk. He started beating the fuck out that nigga. Like towards the end, niggas was like, "God damn, Diamond <laughs> Dame is back." He I think it looked like a uh, up. after he hit him in his shoulder again when he threw a punch. He did another uppercut, but hit him in his muscle. So this nigga's gone. He couldn't even bring that shit up hey, anymore. You, hey, hey, you see when the ref asked that nigga, he was like, "Yeah, right, man, you kind of fucked up." He was like, "Yeah, I'm good." He was like, yeah, nigga looked like an Alaskan <laughs> Viking. Nigga. <laughs> that nigga looked like nigga. he needs to wave when he uppercut that nigga. That nigga, said. That nigga did not look Mexican. My nigga looked like. <laughs> That nigga look like uh, Talisa Soto, nigga, in this motherfucker. The whole, whole left side of his face was exposed the rest of that fight because of what he was doing to him. So after he won the title, he started fronting on the nigga, man. He was like, hey, you know what I'm saying? You, you really wasn't there for me, nigga, when I got locked up. So fuck you, nigga. Hey, even got a... Okay, now, where's Santo go? Because we got to talk about this. His, I think his camera disconnected. So, Dre, you seen it, right? Yeah. Okay, so... And at the beach, when he went to go see him at the beach, right? And the nigga, uh, <laughs> a tricep uppercut. <laughs> tricep uppercut. Hey, uppercut. hey, that's, hey that's what it was. It was upper. a tricep uppercut. He uppercut at that nigga upper. in his tricep. Hey, sit that nigga hard. Hey, hey. hey. I, I, I found, see, hey, Santo. You be, hey, if it was uh, you be covering for black people, nigga. <laughs> that nigga don't want to be off old cold for nothing. <laughs> hey, 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 nigga hey, here hey. rooting for the villain, nigga. This <laughs> Hey, nigga, it was a legal move. He hit him with his forearm, nigga. It's his forearm, nigga. Bicep uppercut. <laughs> hey, that nigga can watch him break, trying to bend his arm backwards. Hey, man, he trying to fix what's, what's broke, nigga. Yeah, he was trying to help him out. He, 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 you know, he was a little sore. So the fight was supposed to be between Eddie Guerrero and Ivan Draco, right? And he was oh, yeah. for a title fight. And Adonis couldn't get him the title fight because it was already a fight going on. You know what I'm saying? That they had been promoting forever. Alaskan Viking and uh, and uh, Ivan Drago is supposed to scrap. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, he uh, he invite him to his lady's little uh, uh, party. His lady. Hey, his lady was a little out of pocket, nigga, with this nigga, man. Y'all didn't see that. <laughs> hey, she was kind of a little bit too smiley in this nigga's face. Thing. Now, look, I, I I give you this. I don't think me watching it as a man, I'm kind of like just out of pocket. Oh, hey, man, fix yo, fix your motherfucking hey, shit. No, hey, he sound like he from Cybertron, nigga. <laughs> Hold on, I, I got all these tabs open because I got all. Yeah, the lives you, got you got all these tabs open, nigga. I got all the lives up. Yeah, you got all the lives up. I was sharing the lives. I was sharing the Twitch. Hey, hey. hey. go ahead, nigga. Yeah, what you think as a man <laughs> to your Wi-Fi? Hey, my computer all fucked up looking at that damn shit you had us looking at, nigga. Go ahead. 
Nigga, I couldn't read Destiny's Lovers, but you want some free sex? I'm like, hold up, nigga. Hot milk Go. in your area, nigga. Hey. Um, Go ahead. As a, man, as a man, as a man looking at her. Okay, yeah, go ahead. I, I could see how she was a little bit out of pocket, but it was her out of pocketness wasn't like promiscuous. She wasn't trying to fuck with the nigga or do nothing like that. She was. If I was on the end of that, I'm fucking nigga. What is you talking about, nigga? That, but that, but you that's letting me know. That's letting me know. Oh yeah, I could get the draws. Nigga. He wasn't even trying to fuck. So the way she. No, I'm at saying. Her. I'm saying if I. There you go. XO <laughs> was on the other end of that. Nigga. <laughs> and the way she was up in that nigga's face, I've seen that look before. I'm getting. I'm capping, nigga. But I'm getting it. The, the way that she looks at it, she's like, this is his boy from way back. So I don't think she had. It wasn't motherly. Picture. It wasn't motherly. I, but this is what I'm saying. She had her own reason. She had her own ulterior motives because she had been trying to get Adonis to talk about some certain shit way before that. And yeah, she figured that her way and in part one, in part one, he wasn't right. He wasn't you know fully letting her know about his past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I'll three. take that back. I'll take. Yeah, she was still in my. She was in my grill. Man. I was right there, looking like, yeah, hey, yeah. She was, to, she was trying to be. She was in the face. She had a reason to be in that nigga face. It wasn't like she was trying to fuck him, but she was trying to find out some shit she ain't had no business trying to find out about. So when they went to so when she invited him to the party and they was at the party, you don't think that that was kind of like some a little too out of pocketness, nigga? I don't like the Dre. Nigga. No, am I tripping? Because she already knew what she wanted. Because right. even even after that conversation, he's like, okay, I gave you a little bit. Hey, ask Adonis the rest, because right, this ain't my no. place to talk to you about this, man. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm gonna be yeah, like, hey man, what's up? What's up? Play. Nah, nah, what's up with all this? It wasn't no foul play going on. It, it was it, a little yeah. too close. And, no, hey man, for a nigga that I don't really play. know like that, that just got yeah. out, nigga. Nah. You do know him, bro. That's your boy. You nigga, that's that. your boy when you was a kid, nigga. That nigga ain't that. That ain't the same kind of relationship. Yeah, this nigga did right. like 18 right. out the right. pen, yeah. fresh out. You right. That ain't that ain't the same dude. I I I'm like, why why you anyway? Man. So I, I get what you're saying though. She was trying to get close to him uh, through all the movies, all right. the movies. She really he kind of standoffish with his past. So all of a sudden they see on the TV at the party that uh somebody was out there you YouTubing and Ivan Drago got fucked up by his hand. Some nigga took off on his hand. <laughs> Right. Hey, no, he hit that nigga with like a pole or something, didn't he? Yeah, across the grill. Bing. Yeah, he had his like hand on the on the couch or something, and like and they and, smashed. It. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So the fight is off. The heavyweight title is off. But he like I could get you a fighter. The nigga that you sparred with, he kind of puppied the nigga. He played on this guilt. Like the nigga yeah. Jonathan Majors really eyes in that nigga through this whole movie, bro. He really eyes in that nigga through the whole movie. He played on this guilt. Don't say shit, I don't know, man. Um, it, it's a it's a bleach reference. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but Eisen he, had everything planned out. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Eisen nigga is like a moderate type nigga, even better than than moderate, right? So mm -hmm. he he knew what he wanted from the jump. This was by design. Yeah, it was by design. Go ahead, design. because because uh, he was clear about his uh, anime shit going on in this movie. Yeah, right, for sure. Um, but even with that being said, the nigga Jonathan Majors played on his guilt. You know what I'm saying? He played the nice guy role. He looked the nigga in the face and was like, hey, yo, bro, thank you. I need this. Like, he really played that role. Like, I don't need your money. I need this opportunity. You know what I'm saying? So the nigga Adonis, uh, Michael B. Jordan, felt like he owed him something. Even when motherfuckers was like, yo, you don't owe this nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? He still felt like he owed them. And Jonathan Majors knew he was going to feel like that. And that's what got them to get to that beat scene once that fight happened. I would have felt like that. Yeah. I would have felt like that. If that situation went down like that, I would have felt like I, I owe this nigga something. Me too. Me too. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Because I popped off as a young, a young wild nigga. I seen red and beat this nigga's ass. Beat that. Right. What was that little mushroom? The mushroom man from Mario with a beard. <laughs> <laughs> The right. Goomba face ass nigga. The Goomba, he, he, yeah, he uh he saw him coming out of a liquor store back in his past, though. And he was like, Hey, Mr. Bazabla, 
and just whooped off on them, nigga. Leon. Hey, Leon. But he they started getting jumped. So after Adonis has stolen off on Leon and started whooping Leon ass outside the liquor store, Leon homeboys came out and started whooping Adonis. That's why um I keep calling nigga Jonathan Majors Dame. That's why Dame pulled the pistol in the first place. Yeah, because they was jumping yeah. Adonis. You know what I'm saying? And then the hook pulled came. the pistol out. Like yeah, get the fuck back, nigga. Yeah, right. Y'all jumping, y'all jumping. Yeah. My, my, my little partner. Your ass. You know what I'm saying? He was the illest nigga in in L.A. Shout out to Dreamville for doing the uh, soundtrack. For that sure. song that came on in the beginning, that motherfucker is hard, nigga. That's a that Adonis uh, interlude by J Cole. J Cole, shout out to J Cole. Anybody hate on J Cole? Come see me, nigga. Hey, J. Cole ain't that type. Hey, All right, yeah, but, go ahead, nigga. But so he was the all, illest nigga in LA, lying ass nigga. Did, did in the, in the in, no, all, no, in the in the country, right? He was the number one dude in the amateur was, in the yeah, country. Golden Gloves, right? But yeah. did y'all peep the song choice of the Nipsey songs when he came out to the first one and he came out to the second one? Hold on. Yeah, they didn't see nothing. Let's talk to Dre, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, Dre, do you remember, nigga, when? When they did, I, I see what you're saying. I did like that. I did. Yeah, like that. Hold on. I said that's. I said that's fire. Yeah, that was fire. Hold on. That, I like how they did that. Hold on. What's up? You're not. He's not that tight. J Cole. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, we're not gonna do that. I'm not. Hey, don't do that with this nigga right now. Not, not, not. Don't get me upset. Don't get me upset. Don't get me upsided, nigga. Upsided. Nah. Upsided. Oh, oh, yeah. Inside. Inside. Hey, that nigga. That is put two words together. <laughs> Hey, I like that. Hey, hey, hey that's, that's a real nigga. Hey, that's some nigga them right there. <laughs> hey, so so in the in the movie, um, <laughs> hey, he he won the title, had the heat out on the beach, right? And then he he tells the, no no no, some nigga pulled the pistol out on because he came up in there tripping, and he was like, no, chill chill out. Adonis knocked the nigga out. Adon yeah, Adonis stole on him. I was about to say because yeah. the first nigga didn't want to listen and got laid out. Yeah, he knocked his ass out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't touch me. So no. <laughs> listen the first time, hard Hey, so he pulled the he pulled the heat out on him, and then dude take the heat and then put it in his waistline. First disrespect. Mm -hmm. He 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 sh he had an open shirt with the heat oh. showing. He had a right? robe. That nigga had a robe on. Yeah, with some shorts on. Nigga, and some sandals. Hey, out in the beach with a, a campfire. Chilling, he just won the title. Like, <laughs> hey, where all these people come from? <laughs> hey, that's exactly how it happens, though. He's a champ. Yeah, you feel me? Matter to them. No, no, right. exactly. Hey, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. I want to be around the champ. Right. So, so he come up like, man, I just went to my mom's house and seen a picture with you with the nigga that beat up Ivan Drago, nigga. So you set this shit the fuck up, nigga. You bitch ass nigga. This nigga was like, man, hey, hey. So Dane was like, man, what the fuck you, hey, man, you wasn't there for me, nigga. Hey, but moms was hiding, not to keep cutting you off, but I feel like we missed. No, 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 we point. need this. We you need that. Yeah, this this moms ties in with this. Was hiding the letter. So the nigga Dame asked the nigga, he was like, yo, nigga, I've been writing you. Like, you ain't been getting my shit. And then he was like, nah, where you was sending them? He was like, I've been sending them to your mom's spot. She's still out in Bel Air. And my, he was like, yeah. So they, they kind of left it there. In, in Michael B. Jordan's mind, though, he was like, okay, my mom has been keeping these letters from me. Yeah, you know she got them over there from me. Hey, right. so so shout out to Jonathan Majors because there was a scene, that scene that he's talking about right now, he looks at Adonis and he's really, nigga, I've never, hey, this is how you know you raw as fuck. I can see in his expressions that, okay, I believe him, but wait, is he telling I, be I believe him. I kind of believe him. Like, you can see all of that happening in his facial expression. Like, he don't know what to think of, mm -hmm. I've been writing you and you haven't get been getting Hey, but this the, this, the, this the part that solidified it. When the nigga Michael B. Jordan showed up with the picture, even though Michael B. Jordan was telling the truth about not getting the letters, he showed up with the picture. And the nigga Dane was like, oh, nigga, so you was getting the letters. So, oh, so like, you, you know, know what I'm saying? After all. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That was cold. Yeah. Hey, yeah. that was cold. And I'm like, and, and so and so things get a little heated, and he steals on them. Like Dame steals on Adonis. First of all, in that conversation, there was like four disrespects. So we had like five. 
He was sunning that nigga the whole time. He was sunning that nigga. Call yeah. Him bitches and cowards <laughs> and look at you, nigga. Yeah, baby old. Creed, nigga. Yeah. Hey, yeah. disrespecting the fuck out of him. Like, hey, there was like hey, six hey, disrespects. Hey, right now, right now, I've, I've been sipping and I'm listening to this shit, nigga. I'm ready to go run 10 miles right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, ready, I'm ready to go. <laughs> and then, and then take off. <laughs> so he bombs on him, nigga. Bing, nigga. <laughs> Hey, and then he bends down to him and talks the most shit. Now, hey, I don't, nigga, I'm dying today. Nigga. <laughs> Somebody, hey, nigga, I, I would, hey, the, the rage. Hey, you could call me a dumbass. You could call me, hey, right here, right now, I'm going to look in the camera. You could call me a dumbass, nigga. But my, my man, my, whatever you want to call this, my madness, the testosterone in me would have took over. And yeah. I probably would have got shot that day. Yeah. Because, nigga, like, nigga, you still on me, and then I'm going to just walk away, nigga? Nah, it's mm-hmm. not. No, no, no. No, we got to get, we got, I got to get sand in my mouth or something. Nigga. He, yeah, he he <laughs> had a he had a lot of self-control. Oh, uh, nigga, like, what? A lot. I mean, but the, the average nigga has a lot of self-control when he's fighting a fight. He know we can't win. You know what I'm saying? So that's Testosterone like- took over, man. Mine is just like, like. I, I got HGH or something in there, nigga. <laughs> I, yeah, no, I, I, I wouldn't have been able to control myself, nigga. X bombs on Dan. X shot by every other nigga. Yeah, yeah no, bomb, 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 hey, 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 movie <laughs> over at one hour, ten minutes. Hey, I'm okay. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bing, I get stole on. I was surprised that the nigga didn't the nigga didn't beat his ass or shoot him. The one that he bombed on. Yeah, right. right. You, feel, you feel me? So me getting bombed on, my natural reaction went to bomb back, and I would have got blasted. Like, I, I wouldn't have. It wouldn't have been no hands Movie in the dirt. Over. Yeah, uh, like, that's tough. what I'm saying. When it, it wouldn't have been no long discussion. When I came in through the door, it just would have been up from that point. Like we wouldn't have had no heart to heart. Niggas wouldn't have been talking about. We wouldn't have got to all the insults because it just would have been up. Soon as I came yeah. in the door, you already, like, you, know you already doing? talking about nigga. I played you, bitch ass nigga. Nigga, yeah. take your bitch ass home. Now go get your shine box. Nigga, he was talking yeah. all kind of crazy to this nigga and got stolen on after that. <laughs> hit him in the shit. Hey. Baby, who do they remind you of as far as like an anime duo? Uh, you know, you know who I'm gonna say. I'm gonna go to the to the uh to the Vegeta and, and Goku and Vegeta. Goku, yeah. That's valid because I felt that too. But I also felt a whole lot of Naruto and Sasuke in there too. Mm. A whole lot. I can see that. Oh I can man. See that. Yeah, y'all wouldn't know, nigga. Yeah, anyway, so so what happens is that was needed. First, and he that was needed. First thing and was like, yeah, I'm gonna beat your ass, nigga. No, no, actually, he goes on there to to promote him coming out of retirement, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he call and then Dane calls into the show, calling him in a bunch of hoe ass nigga. They, you was on, they was on first take. So the, yeah. nigga, the nigga Adonis was like, yeah, I'm coming out of retirement. I want to announce my fight. He was getting ready to announce the same fight that Dame called in and was like, hold on, nigga, you a bitch. Hey, <laughs> he was like, yeah, nigga, we can scrap. What's up, you coward? Nigga, he was yeah. like, other people. Like, hey, yeah. you watched up now. You promote boxing. You ain't boxing, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> You, yeah, promotional, you just had a promotional suit on, nigga. <laughs> promotional man, nigga. Hey, hey, all I want to know is your vest with get, the hoodie on it. Hey, hey, let's skip to the training montage, niggas. Y'all listen. Hey, I'm, hey, I'm, so there was a training montage, but Adonis was looking like a sucker, nigga, in that training montage. Nigga. Hey, now I gotta get to my I gotta get to my gripe. Hey, Adonis doesn't have any hands, nigga. <laughs> You can tell a nigga that got hands for real. Michael B. Jordan has no hands. You, you just you got buff, small cut, and no man. I can see you getting better than you was in one, but you still don't have no hands. Like, you even brought the Mick Queen out. Shout out to the Mick Queen. Came up from Instagram. She was in the movie, the Mick Queen. Yeah, she was in there. No, you can't. Nah, nah. And Jonathan Majors. You was even worse, nigga. Like. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. I was looking at Jonathan Majors like, why are you fighting like that, nigga? Yeah, he, he had swole scraps, nigga. Like. Yeah, I love <laughs> was trying to throw haymaker, swing and miss. Hey, swing he was miss. great, but but his talent, his talent, as Santo was saying, <laughs> got him over in these fights. 
So, uh, yeah, he gets back in the ring, had a training montage. It was pretty ass. I that's probably the worst one so far. I didn't like that training montage. What what you hey rate the training montage, uh, Santo? Hey, hey, real quick though, real quick. <laughs> hey, shout out to uh Patrice Harris. Shout out to Patrice Harris. He was the one of the oh, dudes that was helping. Uh, hey, uh, shout out to Norman Nix. Shout out to Norman uh, the Norman Nix show. Yeah. Fire. I ain't getting stole on it. Leave it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, shout out Spectator One. You feel me, nigga? Hey, it's going Dazan, nigga. It's going Dazan, nigga. Hey, hey, shout out to uh Patrice Harris. He was the one that was helping Michael B. Jordan uh for for his boxing. And Patrice Harris is one of the uh like he one of the premier mitt dudes in in boxing. He he out cold. He done worked with Japonta, uh Adrian Broner. All the dudes from DC, yeah, he cold, man. He cold. And he was also he's a really good amateur as well. So they get in the ring and they have one of the coldest directed scraps that I've ever that I've seen in boxing movies. Shout that out to was. Michael B. Jordan. That shit was hard. He literally erased the crowd. The niggas was fighting in like an empty arena. When they were fighting, there was a there was a crowd, and then they couldn't hear anything anymore. Yes. Yes, oh, okay. oh, you couldn't oh, yeah. even see anybody either. So, yeah. Oh, wow, wow, wow. It, it, was, it, it was like this. So they were in the ring. They were at the arena. The crowd was there and everything. Mm -hmm. The scene is basically them focused on each other. Oh, yeah. Like, that, you here, yeah. I'm here, this is me and you. Fuck everybody That's how else. it is. So when the yeah. scene switches, everything's gone. It's That's, gone. What, everything. That's look, what it feels look, like. When you, when you locked oh, in on, go ahead, buddy. Like that, when you locked in on somebody... That's Coming from a fighter, thinking. right here. Go ahead. Like you like, like you might hear somebody, like, like, like if you really in tune with your, with your, uh, with your corner, you can hear them. But nothing else matters. It's like, it's like, it's like no, like, like you can't, uh, because I fought at Tempe Center of the Arts twice, and 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 both time I fought there it was a whole bunch of people. But when I was in there, nigga, I was fighting for my life, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So like, so like, like it's it, it really is like nobody else. Oh, you hear the bell ring too. You hear the, you hear the clack. It's like a clack. Pop, That's pop, that pop. super focus. Man. Yeah. yeah, right. Because you, you're not trying to. Yeah, you either it's either kill or be killed. So that's how it. That's how it feels. That's why I was trying. That's actually that's why I was trying to find out because like that. A hey, that sounds incredible. Because that's what it feels. That's it what was. It feels. Yeah. Okay. It was cool. one of my favorite fight scenes ever. Um, in anime history is Obito and Kakashi. Uh, oh, they go, they go into uh, a Kamui dimension. Oh. Um, it, it's basically an empty space, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and that's what that fight scene reminded me of. <laughs> hey, hold on, <laughs> put that back on the screen. <laughs> hey, shout out Spectator One. After the first hard punch landed, he had a flashback. That's exactly how it happened. On the low. That, that's some anime shit. Yeah. That's what they was going for. <laughs> on the low. Hey, the nigga got stuck on it, went into hyper focus. But no, I was saying that that fight scene right there had a lot of similarities to the Obito and Kakashi fight scene. Hey, yo, mute that, my boy. The nigga that didn't see it making noise. Like, go ahead. <laughs> no, but I did see the Obito and uh, Kakashi fight. Did you? <laughs> hey, <laughs> what are y'all niggas laughing so hard about? Hey, 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 nigga, hey, that's a, hey, that was an alley you, nigga. <laughs> hey, I don't even get what's so funny. Nigga. That's just a... <laughs> they also had a double, a double punch where they both hit each other at the same time. Now, me and XO talked about it because it could be the the Goku and Vegeta punch when they both punched each other. Yeah. But I think it was the Naruto and Sasuke punch when they both punched each other. You know what I'm saying? I think the choreography looked more similar to the so, Naruto. And Sasuke. So do y'all know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay, that was yeah, the, uh, that was the Majin Vegeta fight, right? It, yeah. It, it looks yeah. like that. It looks like the yeah. Majin one. I yeah. I would it looks agree. more like the Dragon Ball to y'all. I would agree. Yeah, from when they put it I seen it uh side to side, it looks more like that. Like with the little lean mm. and everything. Okay. Not, I had And I think I, I think even they had because uh, since Adonis was supposed to be Goku, he was on the left. Vegeta was on the right. I think that mm. even that was like similar. So, hey, that's from what crazy. I think. Hey, but Naruto was on the left and Sasuke was on the right. But see, even outside of 
the, right. the similarities with the pictures. The the punch they did earlier where they referenced the Piccolo and Android 17 fight when he bust them in the stomach and that nigga eyes got big and he started that's drooling. my that's my favorite. <laughs> shout out to shout out that's my favorite fight in that. No, I thought that, that was the Goku and Frieza fight. They showed it on that that clip, uh Santo, but yeah. I was also thinking Android Piccolo. Uh, yeah, I was thinking that because I haven't. I don't remember that. That's not fresh that's, in my mind. That's when they was bodying each other. Piccolo. They was they was <laughs> socking each other through each 17. other's backs. <laughs> Piccolo again. Seventeen. But you know what's crazy though? You know what's crazy is is Kishimoto is is a big friend of Toriyama. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, how? Just, just even. Just so, for those that don't know, the reason why we're talking about all of this because Michael B. Jordan said that there was a lot of anime mm -hmm. uh, influences in this movie. So he the nerds like peeped it. it. Nerds peeped yeah, what was going on. Like, okay, so I, I haven't seen it, but but when you guys talk about like the the Naruto, Dragon Ball Z references, all that shit goes back to Toriyama because, like I said, uh, Kishimoto is a huge fan Toriyama. of Toriyama. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, just for them to. Yeah. Just for him to take that and then go back there, that's 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 crazy, bro. That we double if you could have saw it. Man. I just seen the punch. I just so seen the punch that talk, you're talking man. about. Yeah, you're right. It was very anti-climactic mm -hmm. at the end. I was just like, what the... And as far as that last fight goes, I feel like he already knew he was going to set this fight up because his who he thought was his homie was bullshitting him. So he already knew what he was going there for. And for him to basically confirm that he wanted to challenge him, it, it kind of gave me the scenario of, okay, I'm not the little nigga you thought I was back then. You think right. you still the shit because you've been in a joint and come out, think you still got hands. Nigga, I've been surrounded by the greatest. I became the greatest myself. I trained with the greatest. Nigga, I've, I've had all this. This yeah. is what I do. So I was trained by twisted. one of the greatest. Yeah. So, yeah. hey, don't get shit twisted. You can think you're still nice, but yeah, let's go ahead and step in this ring so I can give you a reminder of that. And yeah, that that dynamic is is I don't know if that's what they were going for. <laughs> just but that's just how I just felt about it. just think about it like this: this thing is comes from a lineage of Apollo Creed. Yep. For one, it's in his DNA. For two, he was trained by in this rock in Rocky verse the yeah. the greatest of all time. Mm -hmm. Basically, I gets busy. Yeah. Right. Here's 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 another thing. He was a promoter, so he knew this shit was going to bang out. Yeah. Especially the fact that he called in to the show. That's when his uh, promoter mind kicked in, and he was like, "Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go get this." I didn't like how he was training his daughter. His daughter's death at the end. Santo kind of fucked it up for me because now I can't get that out of my head. That's why I went from an eight to a seven. Oh. The next one is going to be about his his daughter. So oh. th through the whole movie. There was little hidden innuendos and different things about his daughter wanting to be a fighter. She even got into a scrap with a little bitch after school because little bitch yep. tore a picture up and she and she punched her out. Like you know what I'm saying? And, and they they had a meeting about it. And she, Shout like, out to that there. scene. Whoever wrote that scene, whoever is Michael B. Jordan, I fucks with you on that. But I wouldn't have got punked, nigga. Yeah, I would have told the teacher, hey, she she fucked with her and got socked. She got socked. Yeah, she got socked out. That's it. Um, but there, there was, there was oh, hey, hold on, hey, hold on hey, real hey, quick, hey, Bobby. Hey, there hey, was hey, little hey. innuendos through that entire movie that made me feel like she is like she's picking up the mantle, like like Vivica Fox's daughter. You know what I'm saying? All mm -hmm. she wants to do is fight. She's telling this nigga, she's like, "Yo, I watched all your fights," and she was like, "Oh yeah, you talking about when you like slip and duck, like when you knock my man's out in that one fight?" Like she's recalling. All of this shit showing that she's been studying. Mm -hmm. She's been mm -hmm. doing the education. Like Kanye mm -hmm. said, you ain't been doing the education. Mm -hmm. She's been doing it. So it is just mm -hmm. foreshadowing to me. To yeah, me, it like, is. Okay, she's going to be the next one. Okay. If you go to the Rebellion uh, business page, which is on Facebook. Shout out. So, uh, Shout out to Rebellion. All right, so um, here, so. What? Shout out to the dude, uh, 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 um, uh, Denise out there helping out with that. Go ahead. Yeah. So look, so according. And this is, you know, a little bit of rumor. So we, so uh, Michael B. Jordan did some uh, press stuff before, before the the movie, and he was talking about some, some anime stuff that's in the works, right? So having said that, um, <clears throat> so supposedly um, there is an animated series in the works for Creed, right? Um, there's also a Creed live action 
companion series. And also in conjunction is uh with uh, what uh what you guys are talking about, you know, that might be the next movie. Creed's uh Creed's daughter actually being the, the next character in oh, the so series. It. Oh, so it has to it's, it's, uh they, they call it the uh they call it the Rocky verse. The Creed verse. That's that, that's that's they, they, the they did the, hey, that's the reason why Rocky was hated, nigga. Oh, oh no, hold on, hold on. Oh, they took his IP. Hold on, hold on, real quick though. Well, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't own it. Okay, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, uh, hold on. Somebody I, else owns it. I, I, so, so when Michael B. Jordan was talking about uh, um, how uh, Sylvester Stallone wasn't in there, he said there wasn't no bad blood. He yeah. said that. Man, you ain't see in Sylvester's interview. I no, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I. Didn't you need to go it. watch that interview before you say there ain't no bad blood. Well, no, I, I'm just going by what Michael B. Jordan said. I, I, look, okay, man, look, I, look, I, look. Sylvester was like, "Hey, I don't like Ryan Coogler's brother. Mm. Me and him don't see eye to eye. We, mm. he wants to go in this direction. I ain't trying to go that direction. Which, which Rocky was trying to make it a Rocky and Creed thing, not just a Creed thing. Right. Rocky wanted to be at the forefront of 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 all of that, and he, he wanted, wanted to have his hand scene. in writing it as well. He wanted to be in the scene where nobody else wasn't in it. Rocky wanted to be. It would have been Rocky, Creed, and Dame, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and and he would have well, found like that. He would have uh, like a Rockefeller group. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, he would have punched with him at the same time, nigga. All three of them. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> You know that scene where they punched each other, it would have been all three. <laughs> hey, Yo. hey, hey, you know what, though? Hey, you know what? I was thinking too. You know, what I was thinking too. Uh, and at the end of Rocky Three, right? When they're in the basement, right? It's like, he's like, hey, remember, you still we got all right, let's talk about the one you've seen. Now, go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just saying, no, I'm, I'm trying to link this shit together, man, because I know I haven't seen it, but I'm. I'm really excited. Yeah, you want to talk about the one you have seen. Let's go. Yeah, that's that's right, nigga.